Ah yes, modulo. Probably learned it in school, completely forgot what it is. To make it short, a modulo operation returns the remainder of a division. And here's the long answer. A modulo operation consists of three parts. A number, the modulo command, in programming often represented as a percentage sign, and the modulus. The number is the thing we try to calculate, our input that will return a result. The modulus is the number we divide by, essentially like an instruction for the modulo. It is to the right of the percentage sign. I remember its position by comparing it to a regular division. If we divide 12 by 3, we get 4. Imagine literally splitting a 12 into three equal parts. Each would be a size of 4, leaving nothing behind. This nothing, or 0, is what the modulo will return. If we divide 13 by 3, we can again split it into three equal parts, but this time a 1 remains, so 13 mod 3 returns 1. Note that a traditional division would return about 4.33, the decimal point indicating that a modulo operation has to return something other than 0. Increasing the number increases the remainder as well, but as soon as we reach a number that is divisible again, it jumps back down to 0. By its nature, a modulo can never return a number higher or even equal to its modulus. It would jump back down to zero first. How is this useful? One common use for the modulo is detecting even or odd numbers. Applying a modulo operation with a modulus of 2 will return a remainder of zero if the input is divisible by 2, or in other words, even. Note, however, that in order to detect uneven numbers, you'd have to check if the remainder is 1 or minus 1. Otherwise, depending on your programming language, you might be unable to compare negative numbers. Another use case, shown in previous tutorials, is turning something continuous into something repeating. Imagine a rising line graph that starts at zero and goes up to infinity. Solving each position for, let's say, mod 5, will return an increasing remainder that will jump back down to zero each time it reaches the value of the modulus, or a multiple of it, and start anew. Now we can look at all the positions that return 0, or 3, or any number smaller than 5, and we'll get an even repeating pattern every 5 steps. This can be used to insert a different floor instance on every 5th floor, or replace every 22nd piece of fence with a left hinged gate, and every 23rd piece with a right hinged gate, or you can count up a number and make a light blink in different intervals. When it comes to repetition, modulo is king.